shoots off into the distance. So uh, a real problem, unfortunately. But what can you do in that situation? You just have to stay calm and stay focused. Some of the drivers from the previous junior heats have come up onto the gantry beside us, uh, onto the uh, stands along the main straight, as they want to see which drivers they are likely to be racing against in the final later. Capieto, Wharton, Ogachukwu, Tenbrinka, Kuchachik and Fernanda, and it's a perfect start. Wharton gets a really good run to the first corner. He's going to try and get right around the outside, but there's contact. We expected it would be into the first corner, and three or four of them have gone together. The big ones in the race, 271. Christian Mansell has gone in there. So is the 255. That, unfortunately, is Matias Ferreira. So the teammates have hit each other. That's never a good sign. And who else has gone in there? It's one of the DPK racing drivers. I think it's Miran Pingasov. And also we've lost the 224. Now that is Robert Dehaan. Robert Dehaan has gone and he's got somebody else with him. Now that is one of the, I think that is going to be one of the drivers for, well, 232 has gone. Now that, I'm afraid to say, uh, 232 in the mix, uh, trying to get out of the way of all of the action. The 232 cart has gone and, oh, oh somebody's very, very unhappy. Several of the drivers in there. That's Norton Andreasen is the 232 who's gone off there. They're coming through to complete the end of the first lap. It's green flag, so they have managed to get the uh, wreckage away from the sidelines. But there's a lot of drivers stood at the side of the racetrack having a nightmare. So 20 of them come through. Thomas Ten Brinker was one of them. I didn't realise, but Thomas Ten Brinker was one of the drivers that had ended off off the road. Now that is a big one. Thomas Ten Brinker was third overall coming into this week, uh, coming into this day's action. So we've got James Wharton leading the race, and that is Uga Uga Chukwu battling away with Timotus Kuchachik for second. Kuchachik is there in second, Uga Chukwu now in third. But what a dramatic turn of events this morning. Jamie Day, who was the second position in the interim, has gone off in his heat, and now in third, Thomas Den Brinker has gone off in his. What a disaster. Neither the second or third place men in the interim positions have made it past the first lap in their final heat. So James Wharton, the Australian, leads the way from Timotis Kuchachik and Uga Uga Chukwu. Then it's Elliot Viron from Masio Capieto. And incredibly, up in sixth position is Lorenzo Patrese. Where has he come from? Lorenzo Patrese is still through as Kuchachik has taken the lead from James Wharton. So Kuchachik now leads the way. James Wharton second. His teammate Ugachukwu is right in behind him. Then in fourth place, that is Vao. Up the inside is going to go Ugachukwu. Past Wharton. Round the outside, Viron is going to try and come through as well. Elliot Viron. Now he'll look for the inside line. Wharton will stump that one out pretty quickly. And he does so. So Kachachik leads. Ugachukwu second. Wharton is third. Then fourth position, that is Viron. Is that Patrese up the inside of Capieto? No, it's his teammate that's come through. That is Zhizheng Wang. The Chinese driver's come up to the inside line. And Masio Capieto has pulled a fast one on both of them. So Capieto is there. And there goes Zhizheng Wang up the inside of Patrese. And he goes through. So Zhizheng Wang, the Chinese driver, has come through past Patrese. And these are now the top seven drivers, having broken clear of the rest of the pack. In eighth place, it is Leva Revej, the Hungarian. And then it is Liam McNeely and Rafash Kamara. Uh, Lucas Pons has come up 15 places to 11th. That start line accident that's taken out eight drivers really has sorted them out. As up the inside goes Elliot Viron. He makes the move on James Wharton for third. So the list of drivers out of the race. Sean Christian Hozong did not start the race. Uh, Robert Deringa had mechanical problems, as we know. Then the drivers out on the first corner were Norton Andreessen, Miron Pigasov, Christian Mansell, Robert Dehaan, Matthias Ferreira, and Thomas Tenbrinker. Big names there in Dehaan and Tenbrinker. The two Dutchmen out of the race on the first corner. But leading the race now is Uga Uga Chukwu. He's got through on Timotus Kuchachik. So up to third has come Elliot Viron. Second is Kuchachik. But leading the way is the American, Uga Uga Chukwu. Kuchachik on the inside, though, in the hairpin. And he's got through. What a race this is turning into. Seven of them battling for the victory. And we've got four and a half laps to go. Down the back straight. Uga Chukwu is going to make his lunge. No, he doesn't. He has to hang back in the end. And he tries again. But Kuchachik is hanging on to the inside line. This is the last chance for all of them. They know what's at stake here. Elimination is not an option. There's Lorenzo Patrese trying to get his move on the inside of Zhizheng Wang. But Timitos Kuchachik leads the way. Timmy Kuchachik running a brilliant race at the front. Ugawaga Chukwu in second place. 
Third position, that's Elliot Viron on the Birolard chassis. Then it's the Australian James Wharton, the Frenchman, an original pole position man. Massimo Capieto is fifth. Then in sixth, it's Zhijiang Wang. And in seventh place, it's Lorenzo Patrese, son of the great Formula One legend, Ricardo. They come through and into the chicane, through the hairpin. Oh, big lunge from Zhijiang Wang, and that was perfect on Capieto. And Patrese gets through as well. Patrese then commits to get through on the inside of the Chinaman. And he's through. Lorenzo Patrese into P5. Great bit of driving, but unfortunately they let the top four get away. As down at the back of the field, we seem to have Alexander Partyshev with mechanical problems. Now Zhijiang Wang has made the move on Capieto. So a brilliant bit of racing, but the top four have broken clear now. Timmy Kacharczyk leads the way from Ugiwuga Chukwu. Then in third, it's uh, now that's no longer Elliot Viron, is it? No, my apologies, it is. And then in fourth place, it is James Wharton, the Australian. Then it's Patrese, Wang, Capieto, Lucas Pons, who's come up 18 places to be P8 as Wharton goes up the inside of Ugachukwu to try and take the position. But Viron has got past both of them and he's up into second place now. Oh, Ugachukwu trying to find a way back past on the inside. Meanwhile, further back, that's a big lunge from the CRG of Lucas Pons. He comes through and takes the place away from Massimo Capieto. So up into... I'm trying to do the math. That's seventh position as up the inside. Water nearly gets his teammate Uga Chukwu. It's so hard to keep in touch with what's going on. So much is happening in this race. And look, all of a sudden, on the back of the second place battle is Lorenzo Patrese. Patrese's got a great chance here of moving forward. But he's one of the very tall drivers in the field, Lorenzo Patrese. He's normally had a bit of a disadvantage compared to some of the others because of his height. And he's really looking forward to being able to move up to the senior category because the smaller drivers definitely have an advantage at this level than the taller racers, but Lorenzo Patrese has put on a really good show. So Timmy Kacharczyk has the lead over Elliot Viron and Uga Waga Chukwu. Fourth place is James Wharton. Then it's Lorenzo Patrese and Zhijiang Wang in the top six. Fastest lap of the race, by the way, from Josep Marti, who's down in 11th position, having a really tricky race. Up to the hairpin, and that is the move from James Wharton. He's been trying to time that one to perfection. He gets through on the inside of his teammate, Uga Chukwu, as Zhijiang Wang has a look at Lorenzo Patrese as well. A lap and a half to go, not even, as out of the final corner comes Timmy Kucharczyk with Elliot Viron in tow in second place. And into the last lap we go. Timmy Kucharczyk leading the race comfortably in front of Elliot Viron, James Wharton, and Uga Uga Chukwu from Lorenzo Patrese and Zhijiang Wang. The top six are well clear. Seventh position is now Lucas Ponce has moved his way through in front of Massimo Capieto, the Hungarian Levi Revej, and then it is Josep Marti in 10th position. Is there going to be one final change for third place? Lorenzo Patrese has got pressure from the Chinese ace, Zhijing Wang, and he's going to make a big dive up the inside and get fifth position. Good move from Zhijing Wang as he gets past Lorenzo Patrese on the last lap. So he's up to fifth position. But Timmy Kacharczyk has got a big lead on Elliot Viron, big in the karting sense as well. So out of the final corners he will come. Timmy Kacharczyk takes the victory at exactly the right moment. That puts him in good stead for the final. Timmy Kacharczyk gets the victory. Brilliant run for Tim. Elliot Viron in second place from James Wharton. Ugawuga Chukwu is in fourth position. And in fifth place over the line is Zhijiang Wang ahead of Lorenzo Patrese. What a great race. Not for everybody. For Thomas Tembrinka and Robert Dehaan out on the first corner of the first lap. It's a nightmare scenario. And now we'll have to wait to figure out what the grid for the final is going to be. It's going to be a complete shuffle of the deck again. But one thing is for certain, Tuka Tarpan and the Finn is going to take the pole position for the final. But Timmy Kacharczyk may have just bought himself a position on the front row of the grid with that victory. Kucharczyk is the winner in front of Elliot Viron and James Wharton. Then Uga Uga Chuk with the American in front of Zhijiang Wang and Lorenzo Patrese. Lucas Ponce in front of Massimo Capieto, the Hungarian talent Levi Revej. And then it is Josep Maria Marti Sabrapera in front of Rafael Kamara and Enzo Schionti. In 13th is Liam McNeely, not bad for a wild card. Karo Pazovic and Max Dodds, who had a really difficult race. Marcus Flack and Akshay Bora, Diego Conteca, Nicola Lacorte and Alexander Partyshev. You can tell the drivers who had a difficult race by the amount of positions they lost.